For cheap and reliable FIFA coins, go to golda.com. Check out the link in the description. What's up guys, I'm Tom and FC Evan and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Mode Show. Make sure to smash the like button if you want me to upload regularly in this series. And also let me know in the comments below what are your predictions for tonight's Liverpool Chelsea Big League Cup semi-final. I will do instant live reactions for the game and also the fan zone live reactions recorded during the game will be up probably tomorrow morning when I finished editing the footage and also comment of the day goes to Kwayam Brown who says wow Tom you are so committed to not just to your channel but to us I felt like I feel like you are my friend with the amount of real life videos I also love the amount of series you do I found you because I didn't know who to buy in my Liverpool carrier mode and uh, I was I see I saw episode one and the next was episode 100 and I knew there was potentially new and I was right keep up the good work good work and also uh, shout out to Bennett Brown for that awesome comment that you can see on the screen these comments just make my day so thank you so much for your awesome support uh, and uh, I will keep churning out the videos the a new my player episode will be up today as well and we are playing uh, Hull City at home and I'm playing with my strongest possible lineup let's try and get the free point this is Anfield guys and I'm so excited I love playing the Liverpool carrier world and I'm also so excited for the League Cup semi-final we actually have a chance to go to Wembley but Chelsea are the strongest team in England at the moment so it will be very very difficult to break them down but we are in a much better form than when we played them in the league so I'm actually quite optimistic before the game, but let me know what do you think about uh, the Liverpool Chelsea semi-final. Oh no! Oh, that almost went in. Great block by Ankulu, but that almost went into the far corner. No. Oh my God. Are you serious? Hull City take the lead. What? No, it was Diame. What a precise shot. The increased sliders come into effect here. What a shot and Leno can't do anything. Storage! Ah, keeper saves it. Damn it. No. Oh no, no. Please! Oh, they hit the post. Oh, go on, Storage. Really? Oh my god, really? And Sturridge is injured as well. You know what? Let's slip in Luis Suarez here. Let's see what we can do! Sterling! What a terrible shot that is. Need to freshen up the team. Lacazette, Tillemans and Shakiri coming on. We must, we, we must get a goal back. We can't afford to let Hull City win at Anfield. Okay, let's give it to Shakiri. Let's see what we can, what he can do here. Come on, Shakiri! He hits the post. Oh my! What a free kick! How close was that? Ah, oh, if that's on target, that's a goal. Ah, oh, Shakiri almost scored with his first touch. Damn! Go on, Royce. Lacazette, like please! Yes! Bang! Yes! You're back in it! Come on! Let me win it, Lacazette! Like what a huge goal! Yes! Yes, guys! What a huge goal this is! We stay unbeaten in the league, and that's a big one! What a huge, huge goal that is! We threw everything but the kitchen sink at Hull City. I went ultra attacking and in the end we managed to get the goal. And to be honest, the draw is a fair result because Hull City gave us one hell of a game. With these increased sliders, it was very, very difficult, very hard and Lacazette was man of the match. We got two injuries in the previous game. Sturridge, luckily, is only out for five days. I think I would have rested him anyway for the Champions League game. And Fabian Schaar is out for three weeks, which is a bit sad, but we have Inigo Martinez and Ilori as our backup centre-backs, so we can cope with injuries. 
and suspensions. This is how the Premier League table looks like. It was very costly to not win against Hull because Chelsea has won all their games so far. So we are now already 4 points behind. Chelsea are having an amazing season so far and basically all the big teams are up there. Arsenal, Tottenham, Man United. Man City and Everton though, they, they are struggling a little bit in the league. Surprisingly, Flamini is the top scorer in the Premier League with, with, with Hazard. And we have Suarez with two goals up there, which is, which is really good. And many of you guys said that my squad is very complete, so instead of uh, signing many many players, now I should focus on the Youth Academy and the young players. So first of all, I wanted to show you some of the Youth Academy players that we could potentially promote uh, in May. But, um, for example, this guy is an Argentinian uh, player. He's, uh, let's see his position, he's a center midfielder and, uh, and his potential is crazy and his overall is already very good but if we wait until the May update, his overall could be above 70. Same with this guy, goalkeeper. You know, goalkeepers are very hard uh, you know, to grow into a really decent level because I don't think they start growing uh, when they are 18, they start growing when they are 20, 21, 22 maybe later, but we have this guy as well, a winger, who is also a very, very promising player and his overall is already very good. I only promote you player players whose overalls are like uh, close to 70, because otherwise you, you, it takes just forever to grow some of these players. And uh, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to check on the, actually some of the youth academy players. For example, Karan Zatash, who went out on loan, he's from the Youth Academy, he's unknown at Real Madrid, which is crazy. And he's growing very, very nicely. Um, and let's see, yeah, Shame Diashil and Wolf Prowse, they are also growing. And Jordan Ibe, uh, who is on loan at Wigan Athletic, is also growing. So some of, the, some of the young players are growing very nicely. And let's check on the other Youth Academy players, Mustafi. He is also growing very nicely. I might play them in uh, some of the cup games. And Dominguez already play, got, got an assist he, in one in the one game he he played. And this is another youth academy player um, who is growing very nicely. And Victor Soriano as well and Bakero. So I will try and play uh, these youth academy players in the league cup and maybe in some of the Champions League games. Who uh, maybe one or two of them to throw in throw them in so I'm very really very happy with how our squad is shaping up and how the youth academy players are growing Marco Royce already went up in rating and Daniel Sturridge as well as uh, Moreno and uh, Fabian Schaar so yeah I'm very very happy with how the squad is growing I want to make many other FIFA videos for you guys so that's why this episode is just one game but I will be being back tomorrow with a two game episode uh, so thanks for watching guys, make sure to smash the like, see you later, have a lovely day, goodbye!